Hi everyone, welcome to the newest episode of Chance Chinese Classroom. Today we're going to learn the second half of lesson five. The topic is how about a dinner. We're going to learn some language for official communication and some for the socialize as well. Okay, let's take a look at the first sentence. 上个星期我们休息 With me. 上个星期我们休息 Okay. I think you already know this one as week, 星期 as the week, and the 个 is the universal measure word, and 上 you probably know this. You need to point out direction as up or above, and here in this structure, uh, 上 plus 个 plus the time 星期 this one 上 here means previous, previous. So altogether, 上个星期 means last week, last week. We are women. Rest. We're having our break during Christmas. Okay, so last week we're still enjoying our break. Okay, and next sentence. 下个星期我们开始工作。下个星期我们开始工作。We already know 上个星期 as last week, and the 下 is opposite to 上 as below or underneath. Okay, so what's the meaning? 下个星期 that would be next week. Okay, that would be next measure word 星期 week. 下个星期 next week we're going to start our working. We're going to start working. So 开始 as start. 开始 as start or begin, and the 工作 here to work, right? Next week we will start working. Last sentence. Oops. 下个月我们公司有一个招待会 Okay, with me. 下个月我们公司有一个招待会 Okay. 下个星期 as next week, so 下个月 means probably means 下个月 probably means next month. Okay, as 月 as the month, so 下个月 next month. 我们 our we and here stand for our because we have 公司 after it. 公司 as the company, right? So 我们公司 would be our company. 有 As 一个 one and 招待会 is from last week press conference or you could translate it as reception if you like. So next month our company is going to have a press conference. Let's take a look at the second sentence. 下个月我们公司有一个展览会 Okay, a slight difference with this one. The only thing we need to change is the red part. With me, 下个月我们公司有一个展览会 Next month, our company is going to have a with me 展览会展览会 Exhibition here. Perfect. I just about to mention. Normally for me, I would use 展览 instead of 展览会 The first two characters all together to mean the, the exhibition. I think that would be enough, but it's up to you. Okay, that's just my personal opinion. So 下个月 next month, our company is going to have one exhibition. Okay, our, our company has an exhibition next month. Perfect. And this one, 展览 Could be used as non-exhibition, and also the verb exhibit or display. Perfect. So let's take a look at the second sentence. 我们公司要展览一下谷歌的最新产品。我们公司要展览一下谷歌的最新产品。Perfect. Our company. Yeah, here about to is going to. Okay, about to is going to. Now here, and 展览 to and here this one 展览 function as the verb means to exhibit or to display. 一下 just means a short 
duration of the action, 谷歌的 Google's 最新 the newest, the latest, this one, 产品 it's up to you, but it's quite useful. 产品 as product. Our company is going to exhibit the latest products of Google. Okay, our company is going to exhibit the newest product of Google. Perfect. Take a look at the third one. 上个星期的展览会很成功。上个星期的展览会很成功。上个星期 ，what's the meaning? Quick, last week, perfect. Last week's business 展览会 exhibition 很 very and this is a new word with me. 成功，成功 as success or not in here successful, okay? Or successful in here, okay? Perfect. Last week's exhibition very successful. Pay attention in Chinese. We don't use "shi" in here, right? Subject directly plus an adjective. Okay. And the second sentence only four character, but it's still useful. 祝你成功。祝你成功。I wish you. Successful. Okay, four words. Perfect rating for the new year. I wish you every success. I wish you to become success. Okay, and as a normal description, 他是一个成功的商人。他是一个成功的商人。He is one successful 商人。Businessman, okay. He is a successful businessman. Simple like that. The next sentence. Uh, 上个星期我们举办了展览会。上个星期我们举办了展览会。What's the meaning? 上个星期 last week. 我们 we. 举办了 ，alright. La here it just come after the verb to mean the past tense here. 举办 with me. 举办 means to hold or to run. It's a very formal word, right? Normally to to express the meaning some event then hold hold. Okay, it's a very formal word. So last week we hold. Oh, sorry. Last week we held the Exhibition. Okay. Last week we held the exhibition. We organized the exhibition. Perfect. 上个星期展览会举办的很成功。上个星期展览会举办的很成功。上个星期展览会举办的很成功。上个星期 last week 展览会 exhibition 举办 held, and this one the is a function word to connect the status of the verb. So here the verb is 举办 hold, the is function word in between 很成功 very success, it's very successful. So last week the exhibition is held so successful. So last week. The exhibition is very successful. I'm going to further explain the meaning and the usage of this structure: the verb plus the plus the status during our face-to-face. -face. Here, just keep going. Next sentence: 谢谢你的帮助 Quite simple. 谢谢你的帮助 Thank you. Oh, sorry. Thank your. And this is our new word, 帮助 You probably already know this as here function as a noun, help, help or support. Okay, help or support. So thank you for your help or thank you for your support. Okay. 
Next one. 谢谢你帮助我。谢谢你帮助我。Okay, pretty much the same meaning. Thank you for helping me. All right. The only difference is in the first sentence, this one 帮助 is a noun. Thank you for your help. And this sentence, the second one, the 帮助 is the verb help. So thank you for helping me. Okay. Simple like that. Next one. 我可以帮助你们学习汉语。I'm not even going to put that into the translation. I think you solve this by yourself. I'm going to read it one more time. Think about the meaning. 我可以帮助你们学习汉语 It's talking about my function. I could, 可以 could, could or may or can. Here I say could. I could help you. Plural, you. 学习汉语 ，study Chinese. I helped you to learn to study Chinese. Okay, last one. 可以帮助你什么吗 ？With me. 可以帮助你什么吗 ？I changed this structure into a question. May, could, or may, can, may, may help. To what or something? Ma is the question particle. May I help you on something? What can you do to help? Okay. What can I do to help you? Okay. What can I do to help you? Next sentence. 感谢你的帮助 Literally only one character, but here to represent one difference is one character. And also one vocabulary. 感谢你的帮助 I would say 感谢 would be the same meaning as 谢谢 right? To thank. To thank. And 感谢 would be much more formal than 谢谢 right? 谢谢 would be not so casual, but relatively compared to 感谢 would be more casual. 感谢 would be more formal. I would use this for spoken language. I would write it down as for the letter. So, 感谢你的帮助 Thank you for your help. Perfect. Or, 太感谢你了太感谢你了太 as too over excessively. Okay, perfect. Extremely. I just translate as so. Let me hear. Not here. So, thank you. Okay. So, thank you so much. 太感谢你了。Next one， 多亏了你的帮助。With me， 多亏了你的帮助。All right， 你的帮助 ，your help， and this is our new word with me。多亏，多亏。Yeah， I would. Translate as luckily. Uh, I would translate as thanks for, but also contain the meaning of luckily. So luckily, thanks for blah blah blah. So luckily, thanks for your help. I'm translate like that. And 这次多亏你了。这次多亏你了。This time, this time, 次 is the order in here. Time. So, 这次 this time, luckily, thanks to you. So we're lucky to have you for this. Okay. Next one. 我想当面感谢您。我想当面感谢您。I want to thank you. 当面 in person. 当面 in the presence of the face in person. Okay. I would like to thank you in person. 这件事情很重要，我们还是当面说一下。With me. 这件事情很重要。
，我们还是当面说一下。This jian is the major word for the thing or matter, and shi qing is the thing or matter. So this thing or this matter is very important, 重要 important. We 算还是 still should. So we still should talk about it in person or face to face. This thing is quite important. We should discuss this in person. Next one. 我想当面表示感谢。我想当面表示感谢。Okay. I'd like to thank blah blah, blah in person, and this is our new word. 表示 to express. To express, okay. I'd like to, I'd like to express my thanks or my gratitude in person. Okay, this 表示 to express is a relative, is relatively、um, formal word. I put that down for for written. 我向您表示感谢。我向您表示感谢。I express my gratitude. I express my gratitude. This one 向 means two or two words. Okay, to you, 您 And this structure, we put the object of the action. Beforehand, okay, just to have an emphasize on it. I towards you express my gratitude. And the last one, 我向您表示抱歉。我向您表示抱歉。This is also quite useful. I express my 抱歉 here. Apologize, apology. Okay. 抱歉 apology. You think it is useful? Just write it down. I express my apology to you. I apologize to you. Okay. Very formal. Next one. 这是我应该做的。这是我应该做的。This is I. New word. 应该应该 should. All right. This is what I. This is 做的 here refers to something I do. 的 here is to short of 的什么 what. So 做的 here is to represent something that I do. Okay, something that I do. So this is something that. I should do. This is what I should do. Okay, as a response, a humble response to somebody's gratitude. Somebody thank you for something. You say, "Oh, no bother. This is what I should do." 我应该感谢您的帮助。我应该感谢您的帮助。I should thank you. Respectful form. Oh, sorry. I should thank your help. Okay. I should be gratitude for your help. I should be grateful for your help. And the last one. 你不应该在这儿。你不应该在这儿。You. Should not, all right. You should not. You should not be in here. Okay, so you should not be here. Perfect translation. You should not be here. Next one. 你不必感谢我。你不必感谢我。You thank. Me is 不必
不必。You don't need to thank me. Okay, you do not have to thank me. You don't need to thank me. Also respond for someone's gratitude. 这就不必了吧。这就不必了吧。This 就 here just a word for tense. I can't find the proper translation here. I explained it around face to face. This is exactly not necessary. Love past tense, but as a suggestion, I suggest that this is totally unnecessary. So, as a refusion for some suggestion or gratitude. Okay, next one. 我请您吃饭。I think this is quite simple. 我请您吃饭。I this one 请，请 you know 请 as please right 请 I could use as a verb to mean to ask or to invite right so I invite you to eat 吃饭 to eat I invite you to dinner perfect. 我请您吃便饭 ，OK。我请您吃便饭。I invite you to eat a specific kind of food. 便饭 ，simple meal. OK. Hot luck. I never see this in my whole life. So I invite you to a quick dinner or to a simple meal, just to make it humble. It could be a banquet, and you use 便饭 as well. So, 我请您吃一顿便饭。我请您吃一顿便饭。That is that word appeared in the text. I invite you to eat a simple meal, and this function as a.、Uh, all right, this "dun" is a measure word. It's not appearing here. It's a measure word for dinner. So, 一顿 just a 便饭 simple meal. Okay, I invite you for a simple meal, a light meal. Okay, next one. 这是我们公司的一个新项目。这是我们公司的一个新项目。This is our company's one. New, 新 right? 新 new, and this is our new word. 项目，项目 ，project. This is one of. This is our company's one new project. This is one of our company's new project. Okay. And the next one is tailored for you. 我负责公司的。国际销售项目。Finally, we complete this sentence. 我负责公司的国际销售项目。I am 负责 Remember, be in charge of, be responsible for. I am in charge of our companies, the companies, 国际 global 销售 sales 项目 project. I'm in charge of the company's international sales program. Perfect. Next one. 这是我们公司和中国合作的新项目。这是我们公司和中国合作的新项目。This is our company with. You can say and or with with China. This one new word, 合作合作 to cooperate to cooperate. Here function as the verb to cooperate. So this is our com. This is the new project that cooperated by our company with. China. This is a new project of our company and China cooperation. Okay, makes sense. 这是我们的合作项目 Make it simple. 
，这是我们的合作项目。Let me try it again. Sorry, I messed up.、Uh, sorry to mess up with your mind, Google. 这是我们的合作项目 This is ours cooperation project. This is our joint project. Perfect translation. This is our cooperation project. Next one. 我们谈一谈新的合作项目吧。我们谈一谈新的合作项目吧。We, oh here, take this one. Ba, the par, uh, particle at the end of sentence to make into a suggestion. So you could translate as let, let us, blah blah blah, new cooperation project. Okay, this is a new word. 谈谈 to talk, but I would prefer to translate as to discuss, just to separate it from 说 Okay, this 谈 is quite formal, so 谈 is to discuss, 谈一谈 to discuss, to make it a little bit more casual to tone it down. Let us talk about discuss have a discussion about the new cooperation project. 我想和您当面谈一谈。我想和您当面谈一谈。I'd like to discuss or have a talk with you in person. Okay, remember, 当面 in person. Okay, I'd like to talk with you face to face. Last one. 我们吃顿便饭，顺便谈谈项目。我们吃顿便饭，顺便谈谈项目。Okay, sorry, I forgot to change the color of this one. Let's take a look at the first part. Us eat. Measure word for food and the bian fan simple meal. We should have a simple meal. Blah blah blah. blah tan tan to discuss the xiang project. We should have a light meal and shun bian. Shun bian. I say by the way. And、uh, now here casually. Yeah, I can say casually or at the same time. Yes. At the same time, we should have a light meal, and by the way, could also discuss the project. Okay. We should have a meal together and discuss the project during them. Okay. Let me repeat all the sentences from the beginning. 上个星期我们休息。下个星期我们开始工作。下个月我们公司有一个招待会。下个月我们公司有一个展览会。我们公司要展览一下谷歌的最新产品。上个星期的展览会很成功。祝你成功。他是一个成功的商人。上个星期我们举办了展览会。上个星期展览会举办的很成功。谢谢你的帮助。谢谢你帮助我。我可以帮助你们学习汉语。可以帮助你什么吗？感谢你的帮助。
太感谢你了，多亏了你的帮助，这次多亏你了。我想当面感谢您。这件事情很重要，我们还是当面说一下。我想当面表示感谢。我向您表示感谢。我向您表示抱歉。这是我应该做的。我应该感谢您的帮助。你不应该在这儿吸烟。Sorry, I missed this sentence, right? I will explain this during our face to face. You should, you should not in here. This one, 吸烟，吸烟 ，smoke. You. Should not smoke in here. Okay. 你不必感谢我，这就不必了吧。我请您吃饭。我请您吃便饭。我请您吃一顿便饭。这是我们公司的一个新项目。我负责公司的国际销售项目。这是我们公司和中国合作的新项目。这是我们的合作项目。我们谈一谈新的合作项目吧。我想和您当面谈一谈。我们吃顿便饭，顺便谈谈项目。Okay, that's all for this part. See you tomorrow.